Yeah, it's 5.10, so I'm going to go back to bed. Um, I face the day again. I'm always spending the day in the bathroom. Those of you who might feel bad that he's in the bathroom, well, you know what? The other day I wasn't even gone that long, and to him it's no different. He's upset regardless, and if he wasn't in the bathroom like before and he, he was in the house, it's, he, he reacts the same when, when I come home. It's just when he's in the bathroom, he's at least just in the bathroom and can only go to the bathroom in the bathroom as opposed to throughout the house. So. He'll be happy because remember, even though I didn't wasn't aware of it, wasn't really thinking, it's Christmas. So. Won't be uh, going anywhere, leaving him on Christmas, right? I don't even know if the library's open the day after Christmas. I don't even know if it's open. You know, it's... I think it's open. Part. Christmas Eve, I don't know. It might be open part of the day. You know, just like a lot of stores open part of the day. Christmas Eve. And the day after, I forget. It had a sign up. I forget. But regardless, he'll have some, you know, days where he'll totally be with me. Not be left alone. It's no different him being in the bathroom than if he had the run to the house. I mean, to him it's different because to him he's just pissed, you know. But he's pissed I'm gone anyway. So it's really... Right, I'm already pissed Mama's gone anyway. So whether you're in the bathroom, you know, or running through the house, no different. I bet if we had a camera, mostly all you do is just sit on the couch and do nothing and wait for me to come home. So you could sit in the bathroom in the bed and wait for me to come home. Because you're a dog. You're not a person. You know? Your existence is just, you know, you're a dog. And you're safe in the bathroom and you're warm. And I got the sheets down. And you have the bed that Mama Grandma bought for Angel. And you're fine. And you just wait and wait and wait for Mama to come home. That's what you do. You wouldn't have that kind of life if you were a person. You could do what you wanted. You could leave. You could, but you know, you just have to sit there and wait. <laughs> and you know what? At least you're not in, you're not in a cage. Like, you're not in a cage. Like, um, you know, like, too many animals, doggies, kitties, all... They're in cages, they live their life in cages, you know? Compared to them, you get it pretty damn good in the bathroom. You get your water, you get your bed, you get sheets. You're safe, you're warm, right? Any? You are much better off, much better off than so many animals. So many. Thousands upon thousands. Maybe even millions. I don't know. I don't know how rampant it is, the, the homeless animals. He's locked up in cages. Cages. Right? And actually, I'm going to get it better off than a hell of a lot of people, too. These homeless people on the streets. They have to be in Grandma's bathroom. Some of these extenuating circumstances. Right? You're safe. You're warm. you got a nice bed to sit in. you got sheets. And you just sit there and wait. 
The same thing you'd be doing if you had the run of the house. You sit and wait at your existence. Wait. Wait till, you, till Mama comes home and you could be with Mama. Because that's what you were bred. You were bred just to... to you were bred to be needy. You were bred to be loved. You were bred to Chinese women who couldn't have babies. Pekingeses, I can't my man can And pugs. Were surrogate children. They were in little. They they didn't say having children. They had these little little things sitting on their laps. And you're like a baby, but a baby that you can leave alone for hours upon hours at a time. <sighs> Couldn't do that with a real baby, now could you? All right, almost like all right. Enough, enough, Mama. Time to go back to bed. No alarm, you know. So. If I sleep too long and I get to the library later, I sleep too long and I get to the library later, you know. It means I need to sleep, you know.